Benny, do you want to do the voiceover thing in the beginning or do you want me to do it? Benny, we're going to start the show. You have to pick. Me or you, Benny? All right, I guess it's me. Let's fade it to black. Hey, everybody, we're going to get started in just a minute here. I'm very excited to finally beat Contra Hardcore. That is Contra Hardcore. Gather the family around. Tell them the tale of Contra and the day you saw it end. You'll remember this. We will have holidays. We will celebrate. This is going to be it. Uh, we're just going to check the microphones before we get started because we want this remembered correctly. Want the film archive perfect. I'm here with one uh, Dan Reichert. I'm looking at this screen at this demo. I know the folks can't see it, but uh, I want to do this train level. Let's just change everything about the way we're doing this. How about that? Put the lights on. Okay. Fuck. That's a lot. <laughs> I always get the spots because I always look straight at them to gauge how bright they are, and yeah. then my whole vision's all fucked. Look at that. Okay, well, uh, how's everybody doing out there? It is a beautiful, beautiful day out here <laughs> in sunny New York. Every weather is happening right now. It is, uh, it is both rain and snow and sleet happening, uh, I believe, hail and fire and brimstone are expected later today. I, I walked to work in shorts that's, and uh, that's not, that's and not also good. shoes that let in a lot of air. Uh, and so my socks were all soaked. And also I was really cold because I had gym shorts on. It must just be at some temperature right now where the it can't figure out what it's supposed to do. Starting, starting as snow somewhere and turning into ice. And it's snowy right now. I just looked outside. It's pretty rough. It's, uh, and it's just generally wet. It's a good time. Pretty good time. It's a good time to get in here and uh, with friends and and uh, and record some contra hardcore. Play and, a great and, game fin and finish this great game. Yeah, and, and just and just finish this great game live. I'm, I'm relaxed. Shoulders are relaxing. Are, are PT'd? A PT'd. I've been physicaled. My hand hurts right here, okay. and I don't know why. Like it's this muscle here, and it's super sore, and it's like raised. What could do that? Does it hurt when you do that? I mean, yeah, it's tender. Then it's like this whole like, fatty thing dot, here. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Dr. Caravella here. <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Fix it. You've got ask, a, ask your physical therapist friends. You've got, <laughs> you've got hardcore-itis. Parkour? Hardcore. Hardcore. That. Yeah. Folks can't see it, but... Hardcore's, hardcore's happening there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You're mm. getting old, Dan. Yeah, shit's just... My shoulder's messed up, my foot's messed up, my calves are messed up, and this dumb fatty thing now is messed up. And my collarbone still caves in from when I broke it. Ew. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's like it's a straight shot across here, and it's just, you can feel it go right in there. Like, this shoulder sucks. Make that face. You got your weird, what's it called, frozen shoulder? What? Collarbone's caved in. Caved in is not a good word. I mean, that's the only way I know to describe it. It's like bone goes straight across, bone goes, it's like a V. How'd you break it? I uh, broke it twice in three weeks. Uh, once was scraping ice off my car when I was like 18. You slipped? Yeah, I slipped and I got a concussion. Oh, so boy. my shoulder hit and it cracked that, but then I, my head slammed against the pavement. And so I stood up and I went to go grab my head, but then like, I, this arm got here and it just felt like just a bunch of nails going in. It's like, oh, so I'm just like dazed and trying to walk through the snow to get inside. Uh, it sucked. And then because of the concussion, the tips of all my fingers and toes, like it felt like like frostbitey. It was weird. And then I was just all white, like white, and I was about to puke the whole drive to the hospital. It, uh, yeah. You drove yourself? No, my mom drove and she said I was just like leaning my head against the window, just completely dazed and out of it. And like I kept saying I was going to puke and I felt really cold and. That sucks. Did you get it set and put your arm in a sling? I got a sling, but you can't, like, I didn't get a surgery or anything. Yeah. They so just put I, it in a sling. And then you broke it again? Yeah, the first day I was allowed to drive again. Uh, I got sent home from work early uh, from the theater for insubordination. And I was driving home with my arm in a sling. 
And apparently I've been driving for like three years and didn't know that left turn signs are yield on green. Like there was no arrow. And so I was just doop -a doop. I just went through and I got T-boned at 45 miles an hour. Car went spinning down the road. Uh, yeah. And the seatbelt was across the broken collarbone. And so I went like, and it just snapped again. So that wasn't good. And they had to take me to the ER and strap me to a board and all that stuff. And the uh, car was totaled. Uh, it's good. I think they said there might have been another concussion too from my head and the impact and stuff. So it's a good three weeks. <clears throat> and I remember right after uh, that, I got out of the hospital for that thing. I think it was WWE Armageddon 2000. The pay per view was starting, and I had friends over, and it was snowy outside. And I decided it'd be fun to try to slide down the street since the street was iced over. And so we got sleds and slid down the street while I just had two concussions and two broken collarbones. And uh, we had to keep sliding into the intersection and, like, jumping off so we wouldn't go into the cars, the traffic. And uh, that wasn't good for my collarbone either. It's caves in. It's 